I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the Road to Glory. For the first time, without having a guaranteed Team of the Season pack to open, I am actually quite excited to record this not because I've got anything specific happening in the video or I know there's a big thing coming up where I pack Werner or something because there isn't there's nothing specifically special about this although I do a live section where I will open some packs but apart from that uh, there's nothing big in this video but I, I was genuinely excited to play these games I am trying to to qualify for weekend league because I only did six wins on the weekend because I started really late and Blah, blah, blah. Mentioned that in the last video. Uh, so I need, I think I need to win 15 games uh, to get, no, maybe less than that, actually. Uh, yeah, it's, it's much less than that. So it's, it's less than that to, to get qualified, but it's like 10 games or something, right? So uh, I've got to win that many this week in Rivals to get the points with the 1,000 uh, that I have coming from Weekend League. So I, you know, started chipping away at it yesterday and... I was enjoying myself playing the game. Uh, there was a couple of instances, I think it was actually this game, where my opponent was super easy uh, to, to break down. I was knocking it around really well. The first half of this game was some of the best FIFA I've played all year. And in the second half, the game does what it does. And he ends up coming right back into it to the point where I'm like, oh, here we go. I'm not angry about it. It's just like, oh, for God's sake, look at look at the state of this. Look how we're dominating this game. And in the second half, I couldn't touch the ball. I, I was I had 61% possession at the end of the first half. Second half, couldn't get near him, couldn't touch the ball. Uh, he ends up scoring three, but fortunately, we end up scoring four. So, yeah, at the beginning, you would have seen the team. I did pick up Axel Witzel. Uh, I might throw that in somewhere, uh, maybe at the end of the gameplay, I'll throw the me unlocking him in. Not that it matters, I'm telling you I've done it and I, you know, I recorded the teams that I submitted for him. I needed to get it done off camera because I only had like an hour or two left after yesterday's Road to Glory went up to get him. I, I made the decision to get him, I don't regret doing it, but to be honest, had I thought it through properly, maybe I wouldn't have done so. And the reason for that is because there is a team of the season, Sabitzer, available as an objective. So I could have picked him up. He could have been the box-to-box -to, -box to go with Kimmich. And then I could have played Saul as a cam. The other option, of course, was Coutinho's team of the season card. Now, he's not cheap uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but he's there forever. And something we could very easily grind for doing... I'm literally just doing the Sudamericana over and over and over to the point where I'm halfway through it again. Uh, I did it twice the other day in an hour. And I got 288 out of it. That it, Those 288s went towards Witzel. And now I'm back and I'm about to pick up in probably another 10 minutes. I'll have another 88 rated card. And it's costing me about 28, 30k. And then we're getting loads of packs back for it as well. So I can keep doing that, keep rinsing it. And hopefully I'll keep packing cards to go towards other uh, leagues as well. Because they've just released an Unkunku from the Bundesliga who I've reviewed on a different account and I need him on this one. I only have three teams left to complete for Bundesliga. The issue is it's Paderborn, Union Berlin and Dusseldorf. Three of the most expensive teams to ever grace a league SBC. Uh, comments from yesterday's... I thought this said brush your teeth. Says, uh, bro, your team is six months behind the power curve. I mean, it's like six months. Is a, I mean... I mean it's not six months behind the power curve. But um, yeah, no, my, my team isn't great. And I'm aware of that. But... There are a few things that come into uh, into play there. One of which is I'm on PC and my team is always going to be behind what most people's teams are because you just can't get it that quickly. Things are like the, the, the top sort of 1% of players are just too expensive to get for a normal Road to Glory person. I'm not willing to sit there and grind for 15 hours a day to in order to get some of the cards. The other thing is, for content purposes, I do do maybe a few more upgrades than I should. I do do a few SBCs maybe I should leave alone because otherwise the episode is going to be, hey, look, guys, I played another three games. Want to see the footage? No, not really, mate. Exactly. So we need to do something. So, yeah, my team is behind. And, of course, we did take a big break from it. I took a... I don't know whether it was like two months or something. That's a hell of a goal, that is. That's from um, Thorgan Hazard as well. Like, 
he's pretty good, you know. He's at, what is it, an 86 rated ones to watch card. He's actually really good. The both hazards up front were really, really, really effective for me. How that went in, I'll never know. It was a great goal from a bog standard Carrasco. Some of the teams I was playing were trash as well. So I'm, I'm under no illusion that, yeah, I played some really good FIFA and I won three games in a row. I know I'm not playing the best of teams and in weekend league, I probably lose two of those three. But still, it doesn't matter because you live in the moment. You can only play what's in front of you. Blah, blah, blah. Cliche, cliche. We won three games. Who cares? So, yeah, I know my team is behind. Uh, but, you know, that's part of the challenge, isn't it? Right? Playing playing with a behind team, in my opinion, a little bit more fun than playing with 99s everywhere because then you've got nothing left to play for. At least we've got something to grind and eke out, you know? Uh, Shots says, I wish I had that retro Liverpool kit. I was never given one, though. I'm a fan of Liverpool. Thanks, EA. Uh, he's been subscribed for six years. That is impressive stuff. So, yeah, I've got another account where I, I'm not a fan of Liverpool. I'm a fan of Atalanta uh, or Atlanta. The reason being is because when I set up that account, I literally just click straight through. A little bit irritating because, like, obviously, I would like that kit on, the, on that account as well. I don't tend to use Liverpool kits or sort of known kits for uh, for playing in because I don't like like the branding and I don't like that I'm wearing a Liverpool kit when my team isn't Liverpool like if you want to do that go play career mode but this is a little bit different because this is a you know retro kit 1989 I think the kit is from so you're never going to see it normally so it, it's fun to use it because it doesn't even look like a Liverpool kit to, to most people but yeah it's a shame that you can't go and buy it it's a shame it wasn't an SBC and it's also a shame that you can't just change your team to Liverpool and, and pick it up that way I did try that but it doesn't work unfortunately um, Hacking B says I did Witzel just in case I get a Dortmund player eventually the card is too cheap to skip that was kind of my thought process behind it like I said I know I was like oh, if I'd really thought about it maybe I wouldn't have done because all these other cards are available him and Kimmich in the midfield is honestly, I know I've conceded a lot of goals in the first two games, but they are literally like brick walls in the midfield. They're so good defensively that it is really good to have those two players there. I know my Kimmich isn't the best anymore because there's a team of the season and what have you, but he's still a very good card and that Witzel card is strong as an ox. So I am glad I've done it. But on the other hand, I think I probably could have got away with not doing it, if that makes sense. There's a channel member here, Volk who says, definitely can be complete Witzel. Hey, I listen to you. Uh, he can be a super sub at least, and if you sort out the right-hand side completely, you can replace Saul for a Dortmund player, uh, for the hard links, maybe even Marco Royce, and then in that formation, everyone would still be on 10 cam. The thing is with... Um... Oh, he just became a channel member as well. What an absolute legend. Uh, let me say awesome thank you oh no that's just a comment let me i'll just tell you in the video it's even better thank you very much for becoming a channel member you legend and we've got two brand new patreons as well patrons 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 uh, i will um put their names on screen thank you very much uh, for your support as well legends i'm trying to do uh weekly exclusive exclusive content over there if anybody is interested now with that being said um i don't really want to get rid of saul that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the thing. Like, I do want to keep Saul in the team. And the reason for that is because he's a 93-rated card, high, high work rate. He's actually very good. He, he was much better in those games than he was in the weekend league, just gone. So I'm kind of hoping I can maybe keep him in there, give him a link to Hazard, put uh, Raguil on when we unlock him. I've got one game left of him. That's the 92-rated left back. Put him in there. Give Saul the strong link that he needs. Of course, link into Ramos and PK and uh, obviously Ter Stegen in goal. And then the rest of it could be Bundesliga. I don't mind playing Hazard on 8 chem, which is what he would be with the link from Hazard and no one else. But I could just put Witzel up at striker in a 4-3-3, get Hazard on full chem, and then we can link it back into Bundesliga. That's my plan. That's what I'm kind of going to go with, hopefully. Uh, with that being said, let's go live. So as we load in, I've just gone through a few more of the comments. And there are people saying that Ramos and PK are not good enough at this stage of the game. I mean, they are 90 rated cards. If there was a 90 rated team of the season that came out and OK, I think if, if you go and look at 90 rated team of the season, they're actually better on paper than these. They're not bad cards. I don't have an emotion. I know you say, oh, well, you've got 139 games that maybe you've got an emotional attachment to him. Not not at all. But I mean, you know, with a chem style, 99 for nearly everything. The physical is fine. You don't need to improve that. The pace isn't great. He does have a shadow on him, so it does boost it up quite considerably. He's got 91 sprint speed. Uh, but it's just 
the, the, the problem I have is, right, I need to keep coins on this account. I know it's a road to glory, but I am very aware that I have other content to do as well. And I don't know if and when the road to glory will just drop off like it did last time. And I can't, I'm kind of forced to just stop doing it, essentially. But um, the, the idea for me personally is to have a surplus of coins on this account for various things. Doing SBCs, getting packs, doing Sudamericana and so on and so forth but also at the same time, being able to go and buy a couple of players to review. So I bought Adele Terrapt on this account, the team of the season. That's where the review was played. It was played on this account. I've gone out and got, uh, bought uh, Vinicius as well, the Benfica striker. That is a Patreon exclusive review. And I, I haven't uploaded that yet. I think I'm going to upload that today. Uh, but I did that on this account as well. So I had to buy those cards. Now, I could have gone and done that on the main account. Of course I could have. But the problem with that account is that's dwindling in terms of coins. I don't have the money right now to buy FIFA points because of the whole, you know, situation with ad revenue and stuff. I can't just go out and buy FIFA points like I normally would, top up with a couple of 125k packs, pack something worth 100k, and that'll keep me going for a little while. I am struggling with coins big time. So I need to use this account as much as I can. So I can't just go and improve the team like a normal person would in terms of... Uh, just upgrades, you know, so I'm having to use certain players uh, I can go and buy a couple of plays here or there But I'm trying to avoid it because if I end up spending all the coins on this account and Then we're unable to go and review anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna have a, a road to glory episode But then I won't have reviews and such and I am genuinely worried that I'm gonna run out of coins And I won't be able to afford to review anyone another reason why we're going back into weekend league essentially So let's go over here. I do need to complete I am, I'm very tempted to do this, but at the same time, linking him in would be very difficult indeed. I could do it in a 4-3-3 by putting, I say I could do it, I couldn't, not on full chem. So what I was thinking was I could do a 4-3-3, put him as a centre mid, like the right centre mid, put Kimmich centre centre mid, Witzel up front so that he links in Hazard. And then Bellarabi right wing. And then, of course, someone, I don't know, whatever, Audrey Zola or ha Hakimi or whatever we get uh, at right back. And then the problem with that is that Hakimi would be off chem. Uh, Kimmich would be off chem as well. So I think as much as I like this card, I think I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm going to hope that we can either go and pick up Unkunku at some point or that Sabitza comes in and fills a gap or that we get something really nice in our guarantee pack tomorrow. So that's the dream. There is a pack I want to do, which is the Bundesliga upgrade. Nope, not the upgrade. Where is it? Bundesliga challenge. That's it. Don't want to make the same mistake I did in six o'clock video yesterday. Did this uh, Bundesliga challenge, which was, no, wait, this one. 83 plus rated upgrade, thinking it was the Bundesliga one, but it wasn't. So yeah, this is for 283 players. I need to sort this out because I am way behind on things. I was on the web app because it's easier to complete the Sudamericana on the web app, because you can actually search Sudamericana. How stupid is that, that you can't do it on console? But, um, yeah, I'm going to just quickly fix this. You might think that looks like overkill, but it, it isn't. It's bang on value. I am using an 85-rated Yago Aspas to submit. I'm only going to get 283s out of this. I know I am. I got Tony Kroos and Marquinhos on my main account yesterday. So the hope is, of course, that we do pack a team of the season. But... Uh, the reason I'm submitting that and I'm not trying to make it lower is because I don't have many. In fact, I don't. I barely have any 82s, and I've got a few 83s. I've tried to refrain from using like four or five of them. I've used uh, two: Danilo Pereira and Martial, both untradeable, and Yago Aspas is untradeable as well. Bought had to buy Makano, who of course is team of the season, so I had to pay a little bit more. Had to buy Weigel, and I had to buy uh, Bergwin as well. So my coins have gone down considerably but I think well I'm not thinking I'm hoping it's going to be worth it I've gone for a gamble there uh, will I regret it probably if I don't pack at least an 85 I am going to be a little bit upset but still um, transfer list is basically transfer targets just ready to go when we get the standard upgrade I have been dipping into it every now and again as well if I need a player for a particular SBC I've just been sort of having a look at what's on my transfer targets and sort of picking them up here or there. So we've got the draft token pack. I'll open that first because who cares? So we can redeem that. That's obviously from the objective. I don't know if and when I'll ever have time to do that. I really don't. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I say, when am I going to have time? We all know I'll get knocked out first round. So just need to find time to play one game. But 
Sod's Law, we go all the way, right? And then we get, like, the worst packs available. But still, uh, we get Willock in there. Not bad. He'll sell for a 1,000 coins. I've got enough transfer list space that I can actually list things up here as well. So he'll sell for a 1,000. If they ever bring this league back, he'll sell for a little bit. We'll keep him for now. MLS goalkeeper might sell for 700 if we're lucky, which is decent. And we've got a, a, a Dutch league player there who doesn't sell for anything so and there's la galaxy right back we'll keep those sudamericana card will definitely come in handy he might be worth something he isn't he won't be worth anything i'm sure and neither will fox ha huh. turns out i'm wrong fox is worth fox is worth 3k so there you go just don't discard things because you don't think they're worth it they are worth it to someone. That is a League SBC car. We've already got him, of course, so we've made a little bit of money from that silver pack. It's all downhill from here. Let's do the gold pack. None of these packs are particularly amazing because they're all Sudamericana cards, or, or packs, I should say. So don't get excited that we're going to be opening 25Ks, 35Ks. This is just natural. I'm not going after packs deliberately to try and make the video a little bit more interesting. Maybe I should do, but the problem I have is I'm kind of stuck with regards to uh, packs and cards and teams right now. So, for example, um, the Bundesliga, I, I would love to be able to complete that and have another run round. The problem is I've got the three most expensive teams left and I don't have any of the players because I kind of gave up on it and decided I wasn't going to do it anymore. They bring out Nkunku and now all of a sudden uh, kind of won that card. So I'll, I'll start building it up again, start having a, a run at some of the teams with regards to the league SBC method. I've been using the cards from certain t like certain leagues that I've not been bothered about. Like I said, like Bundesliga, wasn't bothered about doing it. I thought that would be the end of it. So I've been using the cards here or there uh, whenever I need them. And there we go, it's another thousand coins or there or thereabouts. I'll get him gone for 800 quite quickly. Now the Sudamericana card's gonna save me about a thousand. In fact, in that position, it might save me a little bit more than a thousand. Let's list him up for 500. Uh, he's probably not going to be... Well, uh, he's worth... A, uh, no, he's not. I was going to say, he's probably not worth much now because that league has been removed. I don't know whether they'll ever bring that back, which is really, really weird. Small prime mixed players pack here. Let's get this open. Get our first board. No, not, not today. Not today. That 83 plus better have an 85 in it, at least, right? It better had do. Better had do. Uh, second tier of Spanish football. He is worth a little bit, though, so... Again, off-league rare silvers can be worth something. I've not been doing the Libertadores. I've just been doing the Sudamericana. Reason for that is because it's cheaper and it's easier to do. Um, here we are, first board. It's not a team of the season. It's not a walkout. That's okay, though. Boards are good. Poland, striker. It's going to be Milik of Napoli. Boards are good. You know, I'm happy to see boards. Happy to put 83s back in the club. It's tradable as well. He probably sells for about 3k. There are thereabouts. Not that I'll sell him, because we'll we'll need him for something, I'm sure. Genoa goalkeeper, not really worth a crazy amount, but for a non-rare silver, I'll take 700, 800 coins. I'll probably have another run at the Mexican League at some point, and same with the Chinese League, so I'll just put all them in the club. What I should be doing is bronze pack method, but I'm very lazy. Let's do the Prime Electrum, even though I prefer Prime Electrums to Rare Electrums. Uh, not on this occasion, I don't, though. That isn't a board. We always end on a pack that doesn't give us a board. Today, we're going to end on a pack that gives us a board regardless because obviously we're going to end on... I'll keep him because, I, like I said, I will have another run at that at some point. Um, and this is the Premier League. Uh, I'll keep him as well because you never know. We might have another run at the Premier League. Two, sorry, three Bundesliga golds in there. We're going to end on a player pick. We are going to end on it. I'm just addicted to them. I love them. I honestly, were it not for... If like the Road to Glory got 15,000 views an episode and I could just maybe do one other player review and that would be the day's content or maybe just a 6 p.m. content video, I wouldn't need to do them then. I could just have a... I could, I could watch the news like a normal person. Do normal people watch the news? Anyway, if my Road to Glory's got like between 10 and 20,000 views, I would probably have spent two three four hundred thousand coins on player pick upgrades by now because i don't i wouldn't need the coins so there we go but there we go uh, rare electrum this is the final tradable pack that we'll be opening today can we end on a board oh my days that is going to be a libertadores card we could still have a board in here but it's not going to be a team of the season 
Uh, we didn't even get a board. Brilliant. Uh, we've got two Libertadores cards. I really do need to have a look to see what I've got from that league, though, or that set. Uh, we get another two Bundesliga golds, which is very nice to see indeed. Hull centre-back, who... I'm not going to have a run at that, actually. I was going to say, I'll just sell him, but it's untradeable. So we can't just sell it. Uh, let's save him, because he'll be worth about 1,000 to 1,500 in... Well, tomorrow, actually. Right, before I do that, let me go over very briefly, and I'm going to keep you with me for this, to do... A player pick because I've just packed six cards that I was paying attention to I know full well I already had a couple in the club anyway so hopefully I should be able to do this without buying anyone uh, get rid of that right there we go so I could sell these right so for example uh, I don't know I, th I don't think Caliguri and this guy's tradable. I know these three are, and I think Stambouli is as well. So I could sell them for like two and a half K each. But like I said earlier, you know, this is content we need. So we're going to do it. And I like, a, I like a gamble, you know. I'm part of the Football Index community. I love a gamble. So we're going to go for it. I am going to gamble. And hopefully we're going to pick up a team of the season for the first time from a player pick on this account. I may need to go and buy. I think I do, you know. I may need to go and buy a couple of Bundesliga cards. I think I'm actually going to need to buy three, which is not ideal because they are like two and two and a half K each. They're thereabouts anyway. Could use Audrey Azola, but I'm currently using him. And of course, I don't want to use an 84, so we are going to have to go buy them. What I tend to do if I need to buy them is I'll go and put that down to like 1.9. I'll put that up to 2.1. And then we'll just go down all the way down to the 50th, uh, 60th minute if we can. There thereabouts. Uh, 59th, you know, th th there or thereabouts. And uh, we've, uh, I've already got Stambouli, not making that mistake. I've done that before. Kind of spurs you on to do another one. But, okay, so what we have to do then is up that and up that. I know what could happen is that someone lists one for 1-9 now. And we go up to the 59th minute and I'm not going to see it. But I'd rather just get the card and get this done. So Stambouli there again. And nothing new. It's kind of like, it's really, really annoying, like, because it doesn't refresh properly. Like, I've gone from the 52nd to the 57th. Like, obviously, there are some things in between that. Uh, let's do that and see if we can get one. It's just, the whole market is broken. So, let's see if we can get uh, Abraham. He's still there. Sabitza is still there. And someone I know I don't have, Rashika. There you go. I've spent. I know I've spent more than I needed to because I didn't look at prices, and a few others popped up where they didn't before. But um, hey, it doesn't matter. A couple of a couple of hundred coins here or there, just for the for the sake of being quick. I'm all right with it. So there we go. There's a player pick for the Bundesliga. We'll have to open that before we do the 83. But at least we're going to guaranteed to be ending on a board. Can we please get a team of the season here? If I could hand pick it, Holland or Hakimi. Because they both work in terms of chemistry. Holland would be perfect beyond belief. Hakimi would be really nice. But just anyone from this. Just a team of the season. Even if it's Radecki, Please. Nope. Not on this occasion. And wasn't even anyone above 81. I will take Sabitza. Because I was already on him. And there we go. Don't worry though. Don't stress. We've got um, two 83s in this pack. Bound to get Holland from this. Bound to. 100%. Guaranteed. Without question. This is a team of the season. It, ha it just has to be. It just has to be. What? 84 Martinez. Not ideal. Gave up Yago Aspas for that. I gave up an 85 and a couple of 83s. I got an 83 and an 84. Thank you very much, EA, for, for that. For that Gambling, kids, don't do it. Uh, football Index do, because that's not a gambling. It is, technically speaking, gambling, but it's, it's fun, and it's, it's difficult to lose money on that. But I would still not recommend gambling on FIFA, because they will shaft you. Uh, I will have another run through on a few packs. I'm hoping to have a um, 
a nice set of packs tomorrow as well because we've got we'll have like six win weekend league rewards not great but we'll have them anyway we could potentially get an 88, 88 rated team of the season card there which is which is nice i think we're capped at 88 so we could get like sirdar or something which would be really good uh we're gonna have some packs from rivals as well which is i mean they're not going to be great but they're going to be something and i will try and go through a few of the leagues because i've not looked at anything for for a long time actually so if i can skip past all these players and get to so for instance Sudamericana, I, I'm three teams into it, right? But I'm, I've done the most expensive teams. So what I'll be able to do is... These are easy because you don't need to pick up the specific cards. You just need Argentine players, Chil Chilean, Colombian and Uruguayan, right? And I, chances are I've got them in the club already. So then we only have... On, only have? We only have these. And each card costs like 200 coins. So we'll get that done really quickly, really cheaply. These are the ones that cost you the most. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll get that done, and I'll have all the packs for you tomorrow. It's a premium gold and a few other bits and bobs. Nothing crazy, some silver packs. But we need Union Berlin Padabon players if we're going to complete the Bundesliga. So silver packs are actually welcome. I will then have a look at the Libertadores because I've got an awful lot of cards stacked up in the club because I've not looked at it for about a month. So hopefully I'll be able to complete that with what we have in the club. Then I'll start looking at... I'm going to open all the silver packs off camera as well. And then I'll start to have a look at some of the leagues. So haven't looked at this since they released the uh, the new card. Which is of course Avia, who is not great if I'm honest. Um, but I completed it when they released Correa. Then I gave up. And of course, now they've got a Via there. It would be nice just to pick up a 90 rated card for SBC reasons, but also so we can pick up some packs. And I'll start going through all these and see, because I've only gotten five of the 20 Premier League teams. I'm guessing they are the five that give the best packs. So a small prime rare gold, a small prime again, a premium mixed, mega pack for Man City. And yeah, those are all the ones that we've done. But I mean, we could get a 25k pack there for West Ham. We could get small rare mix, wouldn't be bad. Another 25k pack for completing the Millionaire Newcastle one. Uh, Electrum, rare gold, another 25k there. Small prime there for Leicester. Picked up a Leicester silver earlier as well. Everton's a rare mix. So there are some decent packs on offer there. And of course, La Liga I've done hardly any of as well. Uh, and yeah, so I'll have a little run through and see what we can get. Hopefully tomorrow will be a, a big blowout for the Bundesliga because those are the ones I actually want to pack the most. And of course, we'll have the guaranteed uh, Bundesliga uh, team of the season pack as well as the Liga NOS, which actually is going to be pretty damn good because there aren't really any bad ones in that Liga NOS. They're all pretty decent cards and take the goalkeeper out, of course, but the rest of them are pretty decent cards. We could have a decent super sub there if we get Pizzi or Rafa or one of those. That's going to do it for today's episode, though. If you have enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you did the 83+, plus, let me know what you got. Did you get better than just standard boards? Did you get a walkout? Did you get a blue? That would be amazing to uh, see your pictures as well. So you can either, like, tweet me them or you can just tell me, and I'll, I'll believe you. Don't worry. We don't judge here. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it, and I shall catch you in the next one. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.